Right guys, welcome to another episode of Angry TV with me, Angry Britain. She's down here or here. Um, today's job on the van is going to be relatively simple, hopefully. Um, I'm going to replace the mirrors. Okay, so because the van is a T5, um, it has the older star mirrors. Um, but the best thing about that is that you can actually upgrade them to the 5.1 really easily. Now in this van, it's, it's um, basic spec, um, doesn't have electric mirrors, doesn't have... Um, electric windows either um, although the windows is something I'm going to sort out later so mirrors I kind of thought about maybe getting electric windows or sorry electric mirrors um, but if you think about it how many times do you mess about with your mirrors you don't do you so there's not much point over complicating it once the mirrors have been changed and I've set them for my driving position that's it so why worry about a load of extra wiring and taking trim off and messing about there's just no point so what i've done is i've bought a couple of 5.1 um, manual mirrors um, i'm going to take these off swap them over and then i've got some rather nice orange covers that are going to go on top of them to complete the orange look of the van um, so that's it this should be a really straightforward job um, each one of these is held on with three screws which are here here and here um, it's a t25 i think that's the case for unscrewing those, pulling the mirror off carefully, putting a new one on, screwing it back up, job done. So let's give it a go. Right, here goes. Um, I've got the window open to make uh, catching the mirror uh, better. Um, so let's get it undone. Okay, so as I said, the screws are here, here and here. Um, I've got to be careful, I don't bang the door, but it doesn't matter too much. I'm going to start with the bottom one. Okay, that's coming out nice and easy. Christ, that's a long screw. Okay, one of those, pop it in there. And this one, none of these are particularly tight. Take that one out. And then the next one I'm going to have to be careful with because obviously once it's undone, the mirror's going to fall out. We don't want seven years bad luck. We've got enough of that as it stands now. So that's coming away nice and easily. Okay. And that is what you're left with. That's what a manual mirror looks like. So obviously on the electric one, you'd have wires hanging out of here that would have to go in through the trim down here and up to the, where it would be controlled on the door. But because these are manual, that's all you get, three screws. So just need to find the right mirror now. Let's go on that side and we'll get it attached. So that is the difference. There you go. Uh, this one's just a bit, a bit slicker, a bit nicer. This one's a bit square and a bit stupid. And also on these vans, the mirrors are different both sides which for anyone with OCD like me is a nightmare. Um, so both of these on the on the 5.1 model are the same shape or very similar shape, so you wouldn't notice the difference, but with these you really do. So, in theory, should be three bolts in, job done. So, what we'll do is we'll offer the mirror up. Snug old fit, as you can probably hear. Get one in finger tight. Looks okay, test shut it. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be fine. Right, now let's get the screw in properly. Obviously it's a bit cack-handed. Normally I wouldn't be talking to camera while doing jobs like this, but it is what it is. That one's in tight enough. You can see that. Let's get the other two screws in. It's just instantly better 
instantly better. Okay, that screw doesn't want to go in, so that's not great. Let's try the bottom one, see if we can level them out. in particularly well I have to say so let's loosen off the top one without dropping the mirror so it just needs a bit of um, a bit of wiggling what we don't want to do is cross thread the mirrors because that would be a disaster oh, they are incredibly tight those screws Bottom one feels better. Middle one though, that's going to be a pig, I think. Let's go back. Right, right that's better. I think the middle one's still going to be a bit of a pig though. Oh, that is very reluctant to go in where it's supposed to go. Wow. doesn't help that the screwdriver is a bit too long but that's the only way I'm going to get any purchase on it. Wow what a pig. Oh that one's in. The top one. Doesn't want to do up properly. What's going on here? Might be time to get the drill out, tighten them up, so we don't want them falling off. This one's come out again. Mm. Hmm. Right. It's on nice and tight, but those screws aren't right. Oops. Go gently there. That one's okay. That's nice and tight. I need a plan. Let's see if we can get a drill on it. Because that middle screw is not happy. Trusty Makita. Bought this 10 years ago. Still one of the best things I've ever bought. Makita. <laughs> and that's it, done. So I've just got to do the other side and then we'll stick these on. So for the sake of not being repetitive, I'm gonna go over there, do that, and then we'll come back and put these on and see what the finished thing looks like. Right guys, that's both sides changed. These are the old mirrors. I see they're kind of a square shape, not very nice. And the new ones are all kind of like slick and modern, um, which is obviously when you've got the 5.1 facelift, uh, that's what you want. You want it all to match. Um, so that's what's gonna happen. So now I'm gonna try and put these covers on. Um, these are not the covers that I had on my last T5. The ones I had before were actual proper clipping covers. Um, I found these cheap on Facebook Marketplace, so I thought they were worth a go for a tenner. If they don't work, I'm probably going to have to get the clip-on ones 
um, but they'll do for now and they'll protect the mirrors while they're on so um, let's see what they look like I'll have a bit of 3M tape they don't look bad actually so let's get them stuck on properly um, obviously the mirrors are fresh out of the box so they don't need a cleaner or anything never get this stuff off use yourselves that's there, that and that. I mean even if these only last a few months before they start peeling off um, I can always replace them with the clip on covers at a later date I thought they might stick out quite a lot but actually they don't seem to about things like this so I want to make sure they sit evenly and equally I don't know if these are going to be great actually looking up close okay stick that in place okay not brilliant I think I'm probably going to be ordering a set of clip-on covers show you in a sec what I mean. Right guys, so they need a little bit of a, they've got a bit of glue and stuff on them from packaging, so I'm just gonna give them a little wipe off with some white spirit to get that off. That's it, that's better. Who that owns a garage doesn't have a bottle of white spirit and an old rag, comes in so useful. Right, let's have a look at the final product. Okay, so this is what you end up with. A much more modern, this is the old one, big, horrible, clunky and ridiculous, um, to a much sleeker looking mirror. Um, orange covers, love that. Goes with my orange vinyl and my orange strip on the front of the van. And there are other orange bits coming. Um, but these were the, these were sort of the main, maybe it's need a bit more white spirit on there. Get that off, that's better. So, um, not a particularly cheap upgrade, I have to say. These were £95, um, and the covers were, I think, I think I paid 14 pound clean postage from Facebook Marketplace, so over 100 quid to do, but I think it just makes the van look so much more modern, so much more fresh, and obviously with a 5.1 front, these should be the mirrors that are on it. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, not sure about these covers. If I'm honest, um, because I'm a bit of a perfectionist, I'd rather they were clipped in, there are gaps here and there's kind of a ridge here, but like I say, if they last six months without discolouring, I'll get some clip-on mirrors, at, I'll get some clip-on covers at another time, you know, we've got a bit more cash there, about 40 or 50 quid, but um, there you go, that's it for this video, nice and simple, this is what we like, nice simple upgrades for the van that don't take very long, because I haven't got loads of time to dedicate to it, quick, simple, three screws, like I say, some of you might go, oh, you should have got electric heated folding mirrors, but there's no point. Once I'm in the driver's seat and I've set that for my position, it's never going to get moved again. The van's got a reversing camera, so that's all good for reversing. There's no point. It's just a waste of time and effort, in my opinion. I will get electric windows in here. That's on the list very much so, and that's going to be quite a big, extensive and expensive job. Um, but I just don't feel the need to have electric mirrors with it as well. So there you go. Job done. Thanks for watching. It's another video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you like this sort of thing. And uh, I'll see you for another video very soon.